Hey everybody, welcome back and thanks for watching Tactical Weapon Combat Ready. In this video, we're going to talk about this Picatinny dust cover for the AK platform. It is from Palmetto State Armory and I've been getting a lot of questions asking, does this hold zero? So, let's get into it. Alright, before we get to the main video, we're going to try something out here. So, if this video, within the first week of it being uploaded, gets 50 likes and 50 comments, I'm going to send this hat to one of you 50 people that likes and comments on the video. So, it can be any comment. You could just give a thumbs up. You can say, nice, hi. You can tell me that my ears are big, which somebody has done before. So, like and comment and share the video, and I'll send one of these out to one of those random 50 people. And if this is successful, we're going to continue that and we're going to start doing other things. So, maybe start throwing in different types of optics, things like that, um, depending on how many likes and comments I get. So, it'll be kind of a challenge. You guys watch, like, and, sub and subscribe comment and you share the, the channel and then I'm going to give something back to you guys. So free shipping, free handling, no cost to you. I'm just going to pick one of you at random and you get this lovely hat. All right, let's get to the main video. All right, so the Picatinny dust cover here, I have had it for a little while. It came in this configuration with this purchase. This is the PSA GF4 AK-47. It is chambered in 7.62 by 3.9. And I have, I put a scope on here. I shot from 100, 200, and 300 yards away. Now, what I would do is I would shoot, I would zero the optic to the rifle, and then after I had it zeroed, I'd take a couple shots, and then I would open up the dust cover, and then close it with the optic still mounted on, then I'd shoot again. For the most part, zero held true, but when I'd open it and close it, it would mess it up slightly to where I would have to re-zero it. And then once I re-zeroed it, and after a few shots um, of it actually cycling after the opening and closing, it seemed to settle in and then it would hold true after that. So that I think is something that we kind of should expect from it. Um, I would say it's similar to, you know, taking the upper receiver off of the AR-15 and, you know, messing with the parts there. Similar to that, not quite, but, you know, if you were to disassemble your AR-15, you would probably want to re-zero it if you were going to go do some serious shooting with it. Um, now, at 100 yards, I was hitting it no problem. It was very accurate, especially for a 7.60 by 3.9. Then I went to 200 yards, still very accurate. 300 yards is where it started to get a little bit beyond my capabilities with this platform, but I was able to engage and hit the target. And I was shooting uh, 3 fourth silhouette targets. So they were smaller than what I probably should have been doing. I should have brought my bigger one out. But anyway... It did work very well, and um, yeah, I'm going to be putting it on more of my AKs. I already have it on one of my uh, 100 series 5.56 AK-47s. I'm probably going to put it on another one, and yeah, I'm very happy with it. I would say make sure if you're installing this that you are using Loctite right here. I put red Loctite on my other one. Uh, I haven't had to put any Loctite or readjust this one. Uh, it came like this, so I don't know if they have red Loctite on it or not, but this one has not come loose at all. But with my other one, I put blue Loctite on it and it did come loose. So then I went ahead and put red Loctite on it after. Now it is going to have a hinge right here. So you're gonna to have to remove your existing rear sight. And then we can see it comes back here and now it has one screw holding it all in place. 
and then continues down and then locks in place just like your standard dust cover for the AK-47. All right, that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, we'll see you later.